I feel good. Wow, I don't feel say. so good. You know, say somebody find a yeah, achieve one of the highest. Yes, trust me, it's very good. She was born in this community. Her mom is my first cousin, and I know her from from birth. She has grown in this community and she went to Knox Prep School and Knox High School. And from day one, we know that she would be, she was always a leader. She is a little bag of brain. She's small in structure, but she's large when you come to intelligence. And from that time, we know that she would be somebody great. She's also a people person. She's down to earth. She never leaves her community. And myself as her cousin is so proud of her. One of the main thing is that she has never ever forgotten her roots. I've never seen her do an interview anywhere and don't call the name Tapalstan. She always tell people where she's from. I feel very great. Excited because I know that she would make it. From how, you know, how you knew that she would make it? From the descendants of her grandmother and her mother. Her mother was a very bright student at Knox. And then she, at least, she adapted everything from her mom. She was calm, she was easy, she was just a nice, little, beautiful girl. It was everything bright. You know, because evening time when she's coming from school, she generally stopped by. Yes, and then we talk sometimes, she went upstairs and looked for her grandfather. I know she was in the army. I was surprised when she told me she was going into the army. First of all, because of her structure. But then I realized that the army wasn't only looking for structure, they were looking for intelligence and she was one of the largest person in the army when you come to intelligence. I'm very excited for her. You know, you know somebody personally who is, imagine a chief, a female chief for the JDF. And as for me, I look up to the army because it is very disciplined. I have a lot of family in the army too, but I found out about her through a cousin and my daughter who's abroad. She posted and I told her I know her personally. I'm very happy for her though. When she called me and told me that she don't know if I have heard the news as yet, but she has been appointed to be the commander in chief. It was so, I was so elated. It was so excited. I was so happy for her. And I went around and spread it all around the community that Anne, is now the command, will be the commander in chief. And I can tell you, the community is 101% behind her. And for myself, I know she will, if not the best commander in chief Jamaica has ever seen, she will be one of the best. Love her and I wish everything to her that is blessing in the world. And I will continue to pray for her, for health and strength. Woman power to her, and I hope a lot of other females see this and know that there's no limit. There's no limit. Don't think that only a man can do things, they can dominate too.